Let's do a churn analysis with Quiterian Analytics. The first thing to do is to find out which customers have stopped making purchases from us. To do so, let's expand the table that contains the orders and select the field month. We can now see how many purchases have been made every month. Now, we can open event diagram and drag the segments corresponding to the transactions of the last three months. The next step is to figure out which customers made those purchases, and to do it, we just need to drag the customer table onto the event diagram. It is very clear now, which customers were active in all three months, these plus 45,000. Let's rename this selection as Loyal Customers. These other plus 63,000 customers have not been active the last month, so let's select them and call them Churners. Now, let's create a new group, the sum of both selections, Loyal and Churner. We also change the name of the segment so that reflects the identification of the customers inside it. At this moment we have all three groups identified, Loyal, Churner and the sum of both. We have now prepared the information so that we can use the decision tree feature. This will permit us to learn from our raw data. The following step is to select which variables we want to be used as a classificatory criteria for the churn analysis. In this case we will use age band, gender, a monetary classification, based on the revenue of each customer and a wealth attribute. We will also decide how we want the customers to be classified. In this example we want to classify them into loyal customers or churners. In less than 45 seconds we will get our new classification. The algorithm is analyzing the group of loyal and customers and, based on the characteristics of the loyal customers on one side, and of churners on the other will propose us an estimation of a classification based on our predefined variables, that is, age band, gender, monetary and wealth. That's it. We already have available our prediction. We can observe the result at the decision tree chart, where we can see every group created and what is its most likely classification, loyal or churner. This classification has been made depending on the different characteristics of the predefined attributes, that is, similarity to the loyal group or to the churner one. We have a more detailed view under the browser tab. We can also see other detailed data such as the slice that this group represents in respect of the total population analyzed, its particular error and the total error. We will hide those three columns to have a better view of each group. Let's focus our attention now to the people under the top monetary classification, and specifically with age 45 to 55. We can see that all women in this group are classified as potential churners, while men have a different result. Depending on their wealth classification they are considered as potential loyal customers or churners. At the test tab we can verify if the classification is good for a particular group, in this case, the Churner segment. Now, we are saving the analysis so that we can run it any time later. And finally, we will apply this knowledge to a particular group of the database. In this case, the loyal customers. The goal is to be able to identify, within the group of the loyal customers, which ones have the same attributes of the churner ones. Now, the algorithm is assigning to those plus 45,000 loyal customers a new attribute, 
churn tendency, so that we have them individually identified. We see that the new field has just been created and if we double click on it, we will see that almost 23,000 loyal customers are potential churners. In less than 5 minutes we have been able to identify churn tendency between our current loyal customers. Many thanks for your attention.